y'all have been showing some crazy support to this no money spent series on the previous video i told you all if we get that video to 10 likes i will do a double upload today and if you guys get this video right here to 10 likes we will do a triple upload of the no money spent series where we actually are going to go ahead and drop the video for the next battle royale run we have in store for us so jimmy ball game as my boy alex Mayerhofer calls him who was the first one to comment so shout out to you if you want your own little shout out in the beginning of a video all you have to do is either a be one of the first ones to comment b follow me on instagram slash twitter at blade miss and then just send me a message once you're done and i'll give you a shout out but you have to be one of the first ones to follow me or else that shout out goes in jeopardy so we drive in a run with nick marcakis apple taco fly ball is going to drive in the room from third and now it's time for hunter renfro to try and do some damage he gets an inside fastball we square it up but it's gonna be a deep fly ball to center field to actually end the inning now if you're wondering what is this current run on it's currently on 9 and 0 thank you for asking you know every single run we've done so far for the no money spent series it's gone to 9 and 0 well every single run we've uploaded now i have a special little rule i restart every single run unless i am 6 and 0 and luckily for me, I haven't had to restart a run in a while because we go 6-0 and every single time we are recording for this series. So I don't know. Maybe this series is some good luck for us. I know some new finest cards dropped today as we give up a three-run home run to Josh Donaldson. That was the only mistake we made this entire game. So I know some new cards dropped today in terms of finest, and I'm excited to use them in Battle Royale and even more excited to do some Ranked Seasons debut for them. We also do those type of videos on this channel channel so if you're interested in that make sure you hit that like button and rest subscribe button and if you haven't hit that like button and rest subscribe button but you're still watching i'm really just questioning you because you're seeing some epic hitting you're seeing some epic commentary and i don't know what else you want to see like do you want to see me personally on the screen because if you need a cam from me It'll be coming soon i promise that you know it's gonna be coming soon whether it's at the end of this year or at the start of next year we will be having webcam videos finally on this channel so you guys can see my reactions and we will be having live reaction videos or live commentary videos i should say so once again 10 likes on this video we're on the road to 1000 subscribers so make sure you subscribe if you're new and last but not least make sure you follow me on all social medias at blade Miss. now we're nine and oh 12 game win reward is alex bregman full count now in the bottom of the third after we flied out with gene segura and the bases loaded we walked juan soto so we're keeping in the lefty to face tory hunter tory hunter hits it down the line that's actually gonna stay fair and when i thought nick marcakis was gonna 100 percent gun the kid out at third he has one of the best slides in the world he brings in d gordon to actually pinch run for the third base runner and with zero outs you might think to yourself oh man this run is in jeopardy because a base hit wins it. I said, no, listen, I got this. I'm going to walk Josh Donaldson. I'm going to load up the bases, and I'm going to put a force out at home, basically, if we need to. And he gets jammed, and unfortunately, Jimmy Ballgame isn't able to make that catch. Not that it would have really mattered, honestly speaking, as he would have most likely scored regardless. He ends up taking that dub. He knocks us off of being undefeated and now we definitely have to win those three games because we need to add minimum alex bregman to the team now it's not 100 percent necessary because you know he doesn't sell for too many stubs so if this was for my regular team i would have most likely just forfeited the battle royale run and started a fresh brand new one but because this is for no money spent we actually kept it going and now i'm actually going to be practicing a brand new method when it comes to doing battle royale runs as soon as i hit somewhere along the lines of 7 and 0 8 and 0 i'm gonna make sure i don't play the games unless i'm home because i'm tired of you all i'm tired of you all taking me to arlington texas i'm tired of you all taking me to houston texas i'm tired of being taken to major league stadiums where the batter's eye is the worst in the world and i feel like my frames are dropping because i don't don't have a ps4 pro i'm tired of that we're gonna have to keep playing at minor league stadiums the entire runs because if the run is serious and i really want to go 12 and 0 again i'm gonna have to make that sacrifice which is fine because i'm not streaming so you guys aren't gonna be there sitting with me waiting maybe five ten minutes for me to finally be home you guys are just gonna be seeing the end game result but when i do stream 
which is coming soon as well, just in case you guys are wondering, I'm going to just play it out no matter what happens because I don't like seeing the chat ask me to play games when that's literally what I'm supposed to be doing. Anyways, Jorge Posada, I told you all this is the best catcher in the game, and I stand by that thought even though he flied out to center field, and I stand by the thought that Jim Edmonds is one of the best outfielders in the game to use, especially bang for your buck. He's free. I'd have Tony Gwynn number one, Jim Edmonds number two. They're both free, so you can't go any better than that. You know, Duke Snyder, not better than him. Vladimir Guerrero, not better than him. Trust me on that one. So we started off with Jim Edmonds hitting a home run here to take a one-run lead, and that was, I believe, in the top of the third or somewhere late in the innings, and then we strike him out for the final out of the inning. So now we're 10-1. and one. So we're two wins away. We're actually 11-1, and one, excuse me. We're one win away from getting ourselves Alex Bregman. Now, this isn't Mike Trout, so I'm not going into this game saying I must win it. I'm going into this game saying it'd be a great addition to the team, which is what it is. So 3-0 count, we're going to take the pitch because... Because we have great discipline when it comes to hitting but 3-0 counts I usually in battle royale in particular I give my players the green light especially if the game is 0-0 or I'm um, let's say not leading necessarily and I need someone to hit a home run especially if it's a power hitter just because I know most of the times it's actually gonna be a meatball right down the middle or somewhere inside my sweet spot and I can absolutely crush it and that's what I do the majority of the times as we drive in a run here to take a nice little 1-0 lead which is what's necessary. So Gene Segura up now. You're saying Gene Segura doesn't have much pop, but he's playing at Coors Field. So does he really need to have much pop to hit a home run there? He hits a two-run shot. I'm like, money, we're doing our thing. We bring in a pinch hitter for the pitcher, Jordan Luplo, who I hope I pronounced his last name correctly. He gets a base hit. He's been doing a great job coming off the bench for us. And then it's time for Jorge Posada to do some damage. And Jorge Posada does exactly what he needed to do. Some damage as he hits the two-run shot. Now it's a 5-1 ball game or 5-0 ball game. And you can say to yourself, well, it looks like Alex Bregman is coming to the No Money Spent squad. And I'm going to look at you and I'm going to wink and I'm going to say... The game isn't over yet, you get what I'm saying? But I'm going to be smiling at the same time, so hopefully you can tell that I'm trying to deceive you and make you watch the end of the game. Because if you don't watch the end of the game, what are you really doing on this channel? Because that means you don't support me, and I can't have somebody that don't support me, if you get what I'm saying. So, he second guesses going home. Smart decision. Jim Edmonds would have gunned him out. So, now he has runners on first and third. We throw an off-speed pitch. We're expecting Jorge Posada to block it with his life. And then I'm pressing R2 because I want him to dive. I hate the animations they get when throwing home. So I wanted him to dive. Instead, he tries to tag him with the ball at the end of his leg. Why? I don't know. So don't ask me. Nick Markakis, he's going to get a solo shot right off the top of the wall to make this a 6-1 ball game. And then I believe it's Hunter Renfro getting a solo shot as well. So if you believe me when I told you it was 5-0 that we got Bregman, I lied. You know, it's 7-1. So you just got deceived by me even though I told you what I was doing. I'm like Michael Jordan in his prime. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing and then I'm going to do it to you while I'm telling you what I'm doing. If you get what I'm saying and if you don't get what I'm saying, then it's all right because I don't even get what I'm saying half the times and if you don't get what I'm saying half the times that half the times I do say what I do get and what I don't get I do say I don't know what I just said there but hopefully y'all enjoyed it so that's the final out of the inning we're unable to drive in that run and now with two outs or one count we're gonna get a deep fly ball to center field to actually lock up this run as another 12 win run and that's gonna go ahead and improve the Avengers or not the Avengers but the no money spent squad once again Nick Ahmed, he's going to go to second base for us because we have Tim Anderson currently at short. Wilson Ramos is going to be the leader of the bench. He's going to be the first bench player that we have on this team, so he will be leading the bench. Alex Bregman, he's going to be our starting third baseman. And now let's see who we get from the choice packs. But before that, let's actually open up one of these packs. We get Joe Smith as a silver, so that means we can add him to the bullpen since he was from this battle royale run. And now we get either Granky, Altuve, or Pablo Sandoval. I think Altuve is going to be getting an up upgrade after this postseason. So I'm going to pick Altuve. He might go up to a 90 because they do do a postseason update. And the reason I'm adding him to the bench is so we can make sure we have Nick Ahmed on the bench because we're switching him and Jose Altuve. 
Anyways, if you've been enjoying this No Money Spent Squad or No Money Spent Series, once again, make sure you guys hit that like button and the subscribe button. 10 likes and we drop the next video today. Anyways, make sure you all follow me on all social medias at BladeMist. Subscribe if you haven't already as we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And as always, have a blessed day and night. I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out. But before that, let's look at the starting pitchers. We got Joe Mosgrove, and then we got Joe Smith and Fernando Rodney on the bullpen for us. So the team is almost fully 